guys. I'm Mascara from Mascara.com. I'm a beauty blogger and today I'm here with Redkin to show you some really cool techniques on curling your hair and what products to use and all of that. I wanna show you how I get a really natural loose wave. So the first thing you wanna do is section off your hair. Then you wanna take a curling iron with a clamp. And I'm using right now a one inch. I really like the one inch because it gives me that loose wave, but it also holds it tight enough that it's not just gonna fall out in five minutes. The next thing you wanna do to keep the longevity in your hair is use a style protectant. This one is Iron Shape 11. It's gonna keep the hair in the style longer, but it's also going to protect the hair because we are putting high heat on it. So then what you wanna do is run your fingers through your hair. Dissection will depend on how big you want the curl. I want my curl fairly big, so I'm gonna use a larger section, more like a two inch section. Take the curling iron and you open up the clamp and then you run it through the top of your hair right where you're gonna be clamping a few times to heat it up and that's gonna help keep you from getting any clamp marks. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and clamp it in while twirling it. So you're just twirling down the hair shaft a little bit at a time and just opening up that clamp and then rolling it. Hold it for a minute, feel, and once your hair starts getting hot on the outer layer, let go and then leave that hair in kind of a curl. Don't mess with it yet because you want it to set that way. The next step is to basically just release this top layer, spritz it, and then repeat what we just did. So around my face, I take a little bit smaller of a layer and then rather than have the curling iron pointing straight down, I kind of give it a little bit of an angle so that it frames my face really nice. Okay, now that we're done curling, we're gonna go over the whole head with some hairspray. I'm using Fashion Work 12 because it's gonna give me a flexible hold that's going to hold the hair and it's also going to let it be itself so it won't look stuck in its style. It's gonna look really movable and pretty. And then just go ahead and tousle it. So this loose wave look is one of my favorites, but sometimes I like to get a little bit more of a tighter curl, but I'm still gonna be using the same iron. Whether you have a wand that doesn't have a clamp or you have a clamp curling iron, you can do this with either. We're gonna take a little bit of a smaller section, take the piece of hair and just wrap it around the curling iron, but as you're wrapping it around, you're basically following your thumb all the way around, which puts it in a spiral. And then I'm just, kind of hovering this over the top rather than clamping it down. And then when you release the curl, see how that's got like a lot of bounce? So you just wanna continue that using different sections and you wanna go back and forth. With this one, I'm going toward my face. With the last one, I went away from my face and that'll give it some variation and it'll also make it look just more like a natural curl. So for the piece right around my face, I'm gonna make sure I curl away from my face, which will keep it out of my eyes and also just frame it really pretty. So I'm gonna take this Hot Sets 22, which is a thermal setting spray. This one's gonna give it a really high hold, which will show you an even tighter curl, especially for people that have hair that's resistant to curl. It's a great product to use. But also, for people that have a wand, you can do this same technique with basically anything you have at your house, curling iron-wise. So I'm gonna take this even smaller one and do the same exact technique, wrapping it around. This does just give a little bit tighter of a curl. It's fun to mix these two or to do one or the other. This is just a more tight, exotic type curl, mm -hmm. and it's gonna give you a ton of body by the time you're done. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the other side, basically doing the same thing, just going back and forth between the two irons. So once you have it all curled, you can go ahead and get some windblown 05. This is going to go all over it 
and give you some nice texture and some hold. And then you're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I showed you the loose curl and then the much tighter, a little bit more voluminous curl. So hope you guys try these and have fun with it.